Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for a highly anticipated rematch in our main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action between Tommy Morrison and Chris Ariel. because usually somewhere deep inside himself, if he has to fight, he's gonna fight. That's what fighters do. Committing up top now, he goes there again. of this round. Morrison's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook? Tommy Morrison's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Rushing two-punch combo by Morrison. Very nice defensive guard there. An accurate left by Tommy Morrison. Rock em, sock em robots right from the start here, Teddy. No defense, just pure offense. Morrison's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. A well-placed left hand up top. All right, breathe. Good. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water in. There you go. You're good. All right? You're okay, right? You're okay, right? Talk about having a good shit all the time. Being able to shake off a good blow. But this is part of having a good shit. Being able to recover after being shaken out. After the round before. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Morrison's work in training camp is now paying off. You see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination. Left hand. The combination punching now scoring well by Morrison. That makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Halfway through this round here. Look at that! The hook came home with ease. Well targeted combination by Tommy Morrison. Finish with the hook! in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. Ariola's punches are way off the mark. He's been committed to throwing plenty of them. He just hasn't been committed to hitting plenty of the target. No, and it's not like his opponent suddenly became the invisible man. I mean, he's right there in front of him. It's just that he's tired, and these punches are coming from left field, and guess what? They're not getting to the plate. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Left hand that 
landed by Morrison. And that's the end of round two. Ariola's style is flawed in this fight. It's not matching up well with an opponent who's more than comfortable hitting him from the outside. He's standing there and all he's doing is absorbing. Somebody's got to remind him, you don't get points, you don't get credit for taking a good shot. Morrison's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Very nice work to the head. Right hand landed. Morrison's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. A well-placed overhand right. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Everybody's time. Morrison's now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. And he just holds on there. Good return fire that time. Jab upstairs. And that's the end of round three. Three rounds in the books. Morrison's in control. Teddy, he's up with a clean sweep on his Yeah, and I like the way he's doing it. You know, he's making the guy come to him, he's making a miss, and he's scoring all the clean punches. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and they <laughs> oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Tommy Morrison. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. Up top with the right hand. Ariola is showing you a little defensive skill there. I'm going to move away from that punch. That's where he wants to be able to do some damage with his opponent back up against the ropes. Did you see that? He goes up and up and gets to him. Hammering the head. He could be been taught. Have good habits. Have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now. He needs them right now. Double jab right to the face. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. That right hand over the top lands flush. Chris Ariola's inability to get away from his opponent's right hand is costly. He continues to pull straight back, and he's still in the path of the punch. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. We better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. And round four comes to an end. Chris Ariola's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of a gun. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Nice work, the left hand to the head. There he is from long range using that jab. 
So if you're on the outside, say, at a picnic, you want to keep those insects away, you use insect repellent. Or you're on the outside as a fighter, you want to keep your opponent away, that jab, that's the way to go. Doubling up the jab by Tommy Morrison. Took a shot, now he gets a left. has an eye that's completely shut. That's all they need. I mean, that's their job. Now they got to show that they can perform under those conditions. Combination to the head. Tommy Morrison's ability to properly throw and land his combination has been stunning. Kenny, why is he so successful? Because you just said it. He's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. They got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chris Ariola is getting back up to his feet after the <laughs> right back with some offense of his own. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. He needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Oh, and they decide to trade there. Well played, well played. Oh, he is a big shot. Unbelievable. Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. Too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him.
evening. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and you've joined us for Friday Night Fights as we welcome you to the State Palace Theater here in beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana, for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division between Tommy Morrison and Vladimir Klitschko. All right, fellas, let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Ten rounds slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. No matter what the sport, Teddy, it's very challenging to string together two absolute masterpiece performances. Morrison's last fight was just that. It was his spectacular knockout victory. And he's looking for more of the same. And to get more of the same, he's got to remember, it wasn't just his power. It was the way he set it up. It was all the little things that he did. Vladimir Klitschko's feeling the effects now of that hook. There's more room for defensive error with the taller fighter, I assume, here? Yes, there is, because now all of a sudden you're punching down. You're taught to punch on a straight plane where you don't leave anything open. You punch down, and somebody comes up with a punch. Next thing you know, you're picking yourself up off the canvas. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Morris is rocked by a huge hook to the head. with those big arms of his. I mean, he blocks a punch. He really defends it well like a shield. So much of a jab and stab offensive attack by Vladimir Klitschko, but now he switches it up with an uppercut. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. Oh, I like the way he went to the body with that hook. Morrison's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination Scored well with that right hand to the body. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Vladimir Klitsch goes on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. End of round one. You know, Teddy, I'm looking at that cut as he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he thinks he has to go out there and try to end this fight? Not only does he think it, I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the doctor is going to stop this. And he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. You have to keep your distance. Stay away from him. Keep throwing that jab, all right? Keep throwing that jab. Here we go. Round two is underway. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. As basic as can be, but it works. A jab followed by the straight. There's no need to be on the inside. Vladimir okay, Klitschko's putting a smile on his corner man's face right there. It's frustrating his opponent with that jab. <laughs> Scored well up top. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Lands that hook to the midsection. Putting his punches together. Good combination by Tommy Morrison. Good job staying away from the danger there. Vladimir Klitschko got to be feeling the sting of that big, powerful hook. Morrison's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Halfway through round number two. Solid uppercut. Morrison's confidence is built in the fact that he's unbeaten. He got 
got hit, but he sends it right back. How about a return to center with the left hand? Carries that punch intended for the head. Bobby Orton doing well here with that two-punch combination. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational end for him. He's off the school here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bit. He's confident. Blocks the headshot. Look at that combination by Tommy Morrison. Lastly, Klitschko has every tool on the tool belt. Now you see what happens when he utilizes one of them, the left hand. Good job. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Vladimir Klitschko. He missed with that headshot. Turns on that exchange. Stay on the outside. Keep working the body. Keep working the body. Morrison's punch is far off the target. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Accurate hook by Vladimir Klitschko. Punches and punches. Absorbing a hook. stick right now, utilizing the jab. And round three comes to an end. Round number four underway, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Morrison's up two rounds to one. Teddy hasn't necessarily distinguished himself in any one area other than he's been a little more active. Yeah, he has been more active. The only thing that I worry about as a trainer, I would be concerned he has to work harder than the other guy to get things done. Does that hurt him down the road? Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. A good two-punch combo by Tommy Morrison. So the game plan for Vladimir Klitschko doesn't change much. Another good, solid shot to the head. And the game plan, you're right, is consistent. Set up by that jab once again. Vladimir Klitschko's got a bloody nose right now. I don't know if it's broken, but the bottom line is it's going to be a distraction. Gotta see that one coming. Scores up top with a left. Good exchange. He fires back. Three minutes gone by in this round. 
father is back in the corner. We get a close-up look. Vladimir Klitschko's cut even looks worse. Uh, and it's up to the fighter now, so his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady. The same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Klitschko, he has walked through bullets, bazookas, and bombs, and he's still standing in there tonight, Teddy. Yeah, this is a testament, not just to the physical makeup. I know a lot of people at home are going to say, wow, what kind of bone does he have inside that chin? But it's his mind, too. He's making a choice, just like you do in life and other things. He's making a choice to deal with this. A lot of guys would have given in already. Plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Double jab by Tommy Morrison. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. Nice work to the midsection with the left. Vladimir Klitschko's objective is to land that jab, and he did so right there. Morrison's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Accurate hook, unable to score with the hook. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Halfway through this fight as this round gets underway here. Been interesting so far. Who knows what we're in store for down the stretch. He has found his groove with his right hand. Hands up. Hands up. Good biting, snapping shot by Tommy Morrison. Keep it up. Morrison's doing a poor job. There's no other way to really say it. I mean, he's sitting there trying to stay committed to being a counterpuncher. But in the meantime, the fight is getting away from him in a big way. Yeah, he needs a plan B right now. You know, he came in with plan A, Joe, but plan B is what he needs. He has to find another way to create offense. He's not going to be able to do it countering on the back end. Everybody knows Vladimir Klitschko wants to do that right there. The jab, the straight typically the win. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Oh, keep your feet moving! Jab with the straight, classic combination. And he engages in the clinch. Punch downstairs. He scored well after being hit himself. Nice block by Vladimir Klitschko. Keep this fight in the center of the ring, okay? Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Morrison's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. He comes with a straight right hand. Good job zoning in on that body with the 
the left hook. Even better job bringing the right hand in combination. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Vladimir Klitschko. Good combination to the head. You get the sense that Vladimir Klitschko could almost catch his opponent's punch. Nice block that time. That's a good left hand by Tommy Morrison. Vladimir Klitschko's punch is really a mess right now. It could jeopardize this fight for him. being a cut man is pretty simple. It's not rocket science. You have to have the right medicine, the right swaggers. You have to be calm. You have to be able to put brush on that cut, get it to stop, and then put those medicines in. But you need a little help from your fighter. You need him to move a little bit on his bike and give those medicines time to work. By sending more than one at him now. The combo to the head. Keeping his hands up, getting away of his opponent's effort. goes the target of a hook. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Right to the head with that right. You're looking good. Looking good. He's tired. Look at him. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. There you go. Teddy's scorecard has now a little bit of separation. Morrison's gained an edge. It's been the past few rounds that has put him in that position, Teddy. Yeah, and he understands what it means now, what time it is. It's time to pull ahead. It's time to be special. It's time to stand up and be counted. Move, move, move. You got to see this. Come on. Hits him in the mug with the right. Very accurate with it. Here we are in the later stages of this fight, and he still has a hop in his step. Well, this is his territory. This is a guy that has good endurance. This is a guy who's a slow starter, comes on late. He's feeling pretty good right now where he is. Get after him. Flush right hand to the head. Seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Get him, get him. That's a nice right hand that time by Morrison. Range, range. Tommy Morrison smacked up top. Right, let's do it. That is a sharp uppercut by Vladimir Klitschko. That's a good probing jab that time by Tommy Morrison. together those two, three, four punch combinations. That's what makes Vladimir so dangerous when he goes into that mode. Yeah, one other thing with it, Joe, like the power. He has power with those punches, unlike his brother. His brother doesn't really put it together with really bad intentions. But Vladimir, yes, he does. Looks to the head. Morrison's left now getting into the mix. Nice work from the house. Nice work from the house. We are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. All that size, all that leverage, and that pure athleticism from Vladimir Klitschko, and it comes in the form of the left hand that time. Vladimir Klitschko is making for a very inviting target right now. You can see the blood around that eye. The cut is obviously worse than it was just moments ago. Tommy Morrison's combination punching is working well here. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Vladimir Klitschko. A good night. The right hand scored by Tommy Morrison. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. And you see.
see how he just set Cover the table up. for that right hand after the jab. You see how effective, you see how much you can control nice. the fight with a jab. Nice. That was well done by Tommy Morrison. <laughs> Able to get away from that headshot with the block. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Good job. It was touch. It was fast. It was direct by Vladimir Klitschko. It is unbelievable to sit back and just watch what these guys are willing to give and to take. Wow, what a fight so far. Well, give and take, that's the key word. Sometimes you're forced to become great. And right now, each one of them are forcing the other to go to great places. And that's the end of round nine. You can have the best game plan in the world, but when your eye shuts closed like that, everything changes. The one thing doesn't change, Joe, and that's the mentality of a warrior. You find a way. You do not give in. You find a way. You concentrate harder, and you see with that one eye what you need to see. with a hook up top. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Morrison's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Up to penetrate Vladimir Klitschko's defense. He was able to block that punch with ease. Well off the mark by Tommy Morrison. Accurate jab brings the right hand. right there the uppercut work solid left hand to the head Vladimir Klitsch goes right in the way of that hook to the head oh that had him hurt final bell of what is going to be a very tough fight to score I mean you could make a case in every round for both guys that is all you need to know how difficult this decision will be